Ashley from Not A Tree Reviews and today we're unboxing the Little Touch of Mat A Little Touch of Magic. Um, this is a really unique subscription. It is based on a short story every month. So you'll get a short story and then you read it and then all the items are culminated based on that story. I'm sorry, I have strep throat. Yes, you heard that right. We had like the perfect storm of illness. My son had a birthday party last Saturday. From the next day, Sunday, he had a terrible stomach bug. He got bit by a spider, which he, it was not a poisonous spider. This, I'm gonna just tell you guys what's going on, it's crazy. Um, but however, when he gets bit by like a mosquito, he swells up really bad. So he gets like just a reaction to bug bites. Um, and so like, it like, oh, it was just terrible, the pork. And that I think added to the stomach bug. Then everybody got the stomach bug. Then everybody got this, this stuff here, so here I am, keeping it going. All right, I am excited to get in here though. I do love this box, it's always purple, it's beautiful. It's $45.99 a month, I'll see if I can get you guys a coupon code. I'll link down below to my full review. I'll also link to A Little Touch of Magic so you can check them out. Right here on top, <clears throat> as you can see, is the short story, it's just my luck. There are some pyramids, so I'm guessing it has an Egyptian theme. And as you can see, it's about a, what, six page story? Three, four, five, six pages. So then it tells you here, Meris Sager was the ancient Egyptian goddess of the necropolis at Waset, or Thebes. She watched over the deceased in their tombs, protecting them and their belongings from tomb robbers. She also protected the area from criminals and oath breakers, striking all those with evil intent down, with snake bites or with blindness. The workmen of Deir el Medina feared her wrath. Her reach did not extend beyond the necropolis, so she was not worshipped throughout Egypt. She was revered mostly by the people who worked in the necropolis, building and decorating the tombs of the new kingdom pharaohs. Moret Seeger was generally known as a coiled cobra or as a cobra with a woman's head. She was believed to live on a certain peak shaped like a pyramid on the mountain chain above the Valley of the Kings. So that's a little bit of back story. One thing that's really cool about this is everything is like wrapped up separate. So as you can see, everything is, ooh, look at that. All right, so first it says, here are your gifts from Merit Seeger. And then there are, um, they have everything listed along with their retail values. And then here's a little card. White Lily Aloe is a gentle olive oil based soap with a fresh floral scent based scent profile of blood orange, bergamot, rosehip tea, pineapple aloe, sandalwood, lily, and violet. Our, our olive oil soap selections are perfect for all skin types, but especially nice for mature or sensitive skin. Um, it has luxurious lather that rinses away cleanly. We also offer our olive oil soap in an unscented version, which we're discovered, we've discovered is also great for washing makeup brushes. Oh, that's cool. All right, so here that is. It's right here on the top. Isn't this a cool bar? So this is from Lenoir Bazaar. Oh, you can smell it. It smells like flowers. Isn't it pretty, though? And I love the, that it says olive oil on it. <laughs> I bet it's really like a, it looks like it's a glycerin-based soap. So it's like really like, uh, like silky, I imagine. And it's pretty. All right, so there's that. Then we're gonna open this baby right here. What is it? What is it? <gasps> Look, it's a little clutch. Where's the wallet? Well, we're gonna find out, huh? Ooh, it's a wallet, but you could use it as a clutch, you know, because it's like super clutch-like. It's clutch. Um, sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> you can put your phone in here, you can put money, you can put, you know, whatever. Mascara, I don't know, something like that. It's beautiful though, it has like an art deco feel, huh? With the diamond, gold, and like the faux like snake skin. Okie dokie. All right, next up we've got some earrings. There's always jewelry in this box. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, remember she's a cobra. So I don't really know what the olive oil has to do with it yet, but this is like a snake skin. I love when I could just put the box together. I'm like, oh, look at that. So these are like snake skin earrings. Ooh, these are like very, they go with this, the style, like a night out on the town, girl. All right. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try not to sniffle, sorry. 
Vera by New York. This is a snake ring. This is actually really cool. I love these sorts of rings. Look at that baby. That's cool. Look at my nails. Phew, don't mind those. Uh, Aventurine is known as the stone of opportunity, thought to be the luckiest of all crystals, especially in manifesting prosperity and wealth. So I guess this is, oh no, I was gonna say, that doesn't look like Aventurine is green. Um, so I'm guessing in here, in this little velvet sack, we've got some Aventurine. Ooh, and it's in a pyramid shape. So that goes along with the theme, but these actually have different, um, when the stones are cut into different shapes, they take on different properties. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it means something. But look at that, how beautiful. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I shall not lie. All right, moving along. What's in here? Looks like a skirt. Ooh, and it's like it's in like a snake. Uh, snake, uh, ooh, snake print. Did this match my outfit today? Ooh, is it an infinity? Oh, it's not a scarf. Oh, it is a scarf. So it's, this is like one of those, um, really, um, ta-da! I'm just gonna wear that for the rest of the video. Isn't that cool? I like it a lot. All right, this is a unique Papillon accessory. Please enjoy as much as we have enjoyed making it. This is from Papillon. Look good, feel good. And then you can wear it like a hundred different ways. You know, these scarves, you could just like do anything with them. Wear it like a shirt probably if you wanted. Don't though, it's probably a bad idea to see through, you know. All right, next we have, ooh, look at this is cool. This is a necklace. And I don't know what stone, it does look have like a snaky kind of look to it. And then this is like this just cool design. And it looks like it's hammered, like the, a hammered metal. But I do also love this chain is pretty. This is from Garden Party. Doesn't say the style, but that's a cool, cool, cool addition. All that jewelry, what an accessory box, I love it. All right, every box comes with a little note card. This is our final item, this is. Um, usually blankets it doesn't say where it's from which is interesting but we've got um you know a mummy uh an onk so i had to think of that i don't feel well okay remember i'm not 100 <laughs> uh just a bunch of different egyptian symbols and hieroglyphs and things like that that's a pretty cool card i don't know what i'm trying to think of like the best occasion to use that for any occasion i suppose all right so let's look at our cards and see our retail prices all right the Snake, faux snakeskin clutch. Also could have come in ivory, that was a variation. It was, they retailed for $40. The scarf is $28. The snakeskin hoop earrings, I'm sorry. Talking is like a challenge, $25. The golden coiled adventuring necklace. Oh, that's adventuring as well. This necklace here, I didn't know that. I've never seen adventuring look like that, it's not green. That's um, $65. The mini aventurine is $14. The Egyptian goddess card is five. The olive oil white lily aloe soap is $6. And the ring, Merit Seeger ring, that snake ring is $35, which I love this. I'm actually really pumped for that. Um, so if you're interested in the full review, check that out down below. If you um, wanna check out A Little Touch of Magic, I'll also link to them too, so you can check them out. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.